a formalized instruction. Wow, that's amazing. And who does he train with now? Actually, he trains out of a fighting team called Knuckles. And here we go, and Max runs right at him and throws a knee to start things off. And Kern is fighting from his back, obviously a very comfortable spot. Max is getting busy on that body right away. Trying to wear his opponent down. I think Curran's going to time up a little bit. It looks like he's already trying to uh, pyramid up. That's the thing with uh, a lot of aggressive fighters when they're fighting from the guard. They, they fight with uh, reckless abandonment. They kind of uh, stand up a little bit. They start trying to drop bombs and they don't realize that submissions can be pulled at any point. Yeah, Curran's definitely looking for something. He's working the hips and he's yeah. laddering the legs up. Mary, the best thing Marin can do from this point is really just to keep head to head, start landing shots to the ribs and then going up high when he can and stay out of any of those traps. It seems that Curran is very flexible and he's already going for the triangle. Doesn't quite have it yet. He's trying to get it sunk in. And Marin is having no part of it, not even paying attention. He's just striking away. Very aggressive <laughs> young fighter, very he's aggressive. Got his, <laughs> had his hand over his eyes, a peekaboo. <laughs> well, that looks tight. I wonder if Marin will be able to pull his head out. Now he's going for an arm bar. And he's lost it. He can't get those legs closed. Nope, he's pulled it back. Well, Marin's gonna, oh, and Marin's out. Let's see what he can do now. He's got cross side and he's uh, past the guard. No, that's the thing. A lot of technical fighters, uh, especially on the ground when they're working toward a submission, uh, an, an or orthodox fighter like Max Marin, who uh, comes out that aggressively, can definitely take them out of their game. And even if they're transitioning well, and uh, they definitely know about the submission. A lot of times, uh, those, those strikes, a lot of that kind of crazy movement, they really add up. Yeah, those strikes can definitely throw you off your, uh, off your ground or uh, jiu-jitsu game if you're not prepared can, for it. But can Marin keep it up? He's now working from, looks like he's almost got half mount. Pull it one of the left leg out. I think he's got half guard, and he's trying to use that left foot to, uh, to clear there his final go. leg. There you go. Boy, Marin working non-stop here. That's kind of like what, what Marin did against Frank Kulcher. Uh, he stayed busy while Kulcher, I think, was a lot more technical. And Marin finally wore him down and uh, was able to, to knock out his opponent, I believe, in the second round. Uh, but I think that Curran uh, brings to the table a lot more sharper uh, submission tools. So we'll see what Marin can do. Yeah, Curran doesn't look like he's... Uh using too much energy at this point. He seems to be very relaxed and following his game plan. Oh, nice sweep attempt. Can very he finish nice. it? Oh, and he gets the back. Very nice. Brian has the hooks in, and a uh, little sumo just tripods up, and uh, I think he's going to try to jiggle him loose. I don't think he's going to get loose with that. Those hooks are deep. Yeah, I like the, the interesting way he does have his hooks in there. You see, he's kind of got a uh, cross leg. Boy, little sumo is a slippery customer. He certainly <laughs> is. Back into full guard, but I see those legs coming up again. Already. Karan is a very technical fighter. Um, he really flows and transitions from uh, technique to technique. And he's keeping his head in the game despite uh, Marin landing a, a lot of shots. And keeping active. A couple looping right hands by Marin. I think only one got through. Marin's trying to fight to uh, gain a little bit of a base. He's having a difficulty. Looks like 
Marin could almost, I thought he could pass the guard there, but Kern transitioned back and he's moving his hips out. Yeah, he's hip obviously trying to outside. go for another submission. And that's, that's the end of round one. End of round one. Excellent demonstration of technical uh, jiu-jitsu. And great escapes by Max Marin. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is an exciting bout. Marin is certainly a fire plug. And our ring card girl sizzles as well. <laughs> yes, she does. She seems happy to be here. Give him round two. Wow. Marin initiated a flurry at the beginning and is able to uh, work his opponent down, but and Curran looked like Curran was trying to flip him over. He's going to have to settle for guard, which he's comfortable for, for that anyway. As many uh, submission attempts as he did in the first round, I think he believes that Marin will uh, eventually wear himself down before he can get something in. There is no doubt Marin came to fight. <laughs> he's in incredible shape. Rip brings him back to the middle, get away from those ropes. Oh, nice uh, sweep attempt. You know, I think from this position, I think uh, Marin might want to try to bring the fight back to his feet if he can. He certainly seems to have the quicker hands of the two, and he definitely appears to be the more aggressive of the two. I think that's a good call. I think he can possibly catch uh, Curran off guard, but from this position, Curran working off of his back, he, he's already been able to uh, sink in several uh, triangles. And even though he's missed, he's... He's definitely, uh, he's definitely keeping Marin out of his game. And he's working and here comes another one. He's got his hand through Marin's legs. That's a dangerous thing in, a, in an MMA fight. Marin lands a couple of forearm strikes. Oh, nice, uh, nice ankle lock attempt. And goes for another sweep. <laughs> oh, nice left. <laughs> Jumps in with that left immediately to keep turn up the heat. Well, Marin is definitely game, but I think Karan is uh, a little more uh, technical of the two. This was an excellent match. Karan's got his legs up high again. I think we may see another attempt of uh, submission coming here. I'd be surprised if we didn't. There we go. And there it is. It goes for arm bar. Out comes Marin's mouthpiece. Marin's trying to stack to defend that. Problem is with, with Marin uh, pulling out like that. Oh, unbelievable his escapes. And back to guard, but right away, Curran comes back with another submission attempt. He's got triangle. Yep. If Marin pulls out of this, he needs to get back to his feet. He does. He needs to bring this fight up on his feet. Curran is just... That's the one area where he really has a chance to chance to win because ground and pound with Curran is, is going to be a mistake. Yeah. Curran is far too technical. I think he's too experienced and too technical for Marin at this point. Marin definitely needs to bring it up. I think he will be able to finagle his way out of it. Look at one. that. Unbelievable. Gets out of it. But immediately, <laughs> Kern adjusts again with another triangle, and this one is in even tighter. And you can tell Marin is in trouble. He's rocking uh, side to side. That one is also in tight. But he's managed to escape the other ones, which were also tight. Let's see what happens this here. Oh, oh, there it is. No. That's a tap out. <laughs> Excellent demonstration of ground fighting. By pulling out of that first one, uh, that gave Curran just enough time to adjust and get it in even tighter for the second triangle attempt. Wow. And Marin had no other choice but to tap. 